Well, it's that time of year where you may have noticed a lot of spotted lantern flies across the state. Good news is they're harmless to humans, but they're not so great for agriculture. Midsummer, they, they, they started to pop up again. If you live along I-95 or I-91, You've probably noticed an influx in these pesky insects, spotted lantern flies. You've also probably followed Sean Thomas's lead. I pretty much uh, stomp on them. I have a spotted lantern fly here, and you can see when I open up the wings, the underwings are uh, brilliantly red. Dr. Gail Ridge with the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station studies the insects, which she says originated from Southeast Asia. Spotted lantern flies uh, were first picked up um, in 2021-22 here in Connecticut um, at uh, truck stops along I-95. This is the first year where we've seen the population pop. Milford is a hot spot. Dr. Ridge describing the insects as a sort of commuter bug using trains, buses and trucks to get around. The females will lay their eggs on anything vehicles, um, houses, any structure. Something Dr. Ridge says is happening at a rapid pace and probably won't stop anytime soon. Until native predators, parasites and funguses begin to figure out there's a new food source. Until then, she says they're harmless to us, but not certain plants. They are a particular concern to the grape industry because they're very fond of grapes and grapes will be stressed because these are uh, insects that um, have piercing, sucking mouth parts, so they're drawing fluids from the plants. Now, Dr. Ridge says when the insects first came to the state, they were asking people to report sightings to the lab, but at this point, she says there's no need for that. So if you spot them... A, not to worry. Um, most of the plants in people's homes and yards will not be affected. Don't be afraid to squish them. They jump forward. They don't jump sideways or backwards. So if you step on them, you should step forward and they'll jump into the shoe. Do they do anything good? I mean... <laughs> no, they're just another pest in the arsenal. In New Haven, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.